story to tell. The nearly $1 billion German Reconnaissance UAV, which has been banned across European airspace for a rather serious reason. According to the latest information from German media, the most modern RQ-4E reconnaissance UAV of Germany, which prices up to $800 million, has been banned from flying. The ill-fated RQ-4E unmanned aerial vehicle is heading to a museum in the German capital after a plan to sell the plane to Canada collapsed. The reason given is that because this aircraft does not meet European legal standards, it is not allowed to take off in this airspace. This is a somewhat ironic and unlucky reason because US met RQ-4E UAV have been operating for a long time in almost the world. Under the contract between Washington and Berlin, on spare parts, ground support equipment, and many other systems have been shipped to Germany. However, due to the failure to meet the flight standards, all of this equipment will be transferred to NATO. Additionally, the ground control station and the UAV will be in the museum by Germany starting next year. Thus, the fate of the German UAV RQ-4E has been bitterly determined. European aviation authorities repeatedly refused to certify the giant drone to fly over the continent. Fears that the unmanned aircraft could put civilian air traffic at risk in congested European air space. The European Aviation Safety Agency certification was only available for flights over unpopulated areas, and there was no guarantee that this could change in the near term. With that in mind, the German military would not be unable to operate the aircraft from its own bases for either training purposes or operational missions. To complete this license, Germany will need to spend an additional $780 million, most of which is the cost of revamping the RQ-4E to meet the standards. During this time, the RQ-4E will not be allowed to operate, but will still incur relative storage costs. Combined with major cost overruns and long delays, Berlin decided to scrap the program. As for the German armed forces, they now pin their hopes on an all-new sergeant platform, being pursued under the persistent German Airborne Surveillance System program, or Pegasus. And with the current situation, it will probably take many more years before Germany can find a new platform to replace this RQ-4E. My video about the Germany RQ-4E UAV ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.